Today we're going to have another client review. We're going to go over some sounds that were commonly missed in conversation. And the first one is your, your, with a vocalic O-R on the end of that word, or. So O plus er, or, or. So your, and also the word more, more, rhymes with door, core, for. So just remember to get that or. Make sure your tongue comes back for the R. Or. And then the word kids. Kids. Short I. I, I, I. Not kids. Or, uh, I can't think what else. But kids. Kids. I, I. More than one kid. Kids. Adult. Adult. Accent is on the second syllable. That first A is an uh. We say more of an uh, uh, adult. Um, not adult. Most people don't say adult. Um, there will be one adult and four kids who would say adult, at least in the Western United States. Adult. Four adults, one kid. Adult. And the, the U in the second syllable, ult, ult, is a horseshoe U, like book, took. The word full, so adult is similar to a full glass. Like think of a full glass, F-U-L-L. -L. That's the sound of adult, ult, adult. A full glass, adult person, adult. Big, another short I, big, not big. Um, and I know sometimes it might be hard to hear the difference. Big. Big, big. Uh, one way to tell whether you're pronouncing the long e, 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 or the short i, e, e, is to feel right here under your chin. So long e, e, you're going to feel your muscles tighten up a little bit here. E, e, versus e, e, e. They're not going to be as tight, or they might not be tight at all. E. So um, the word Big, big, not only is my mouth kind of going sideways a little bit more, big, 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 but down here you'll feel it tense up, big, 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 big. Um, blossomed, ah, ah, short O, blossomed, blossomed, not blossomed, or blossomed, blossom, blossomed. Indeed, indeed, the, the E is a long E. Indeed, indeed. Always, short O, always. Also, also, I just said it by accident. Also, ah, ah, short O. Access, access, access. I need to access that file right away. Access. So the syllable stress is on the first syllable, access. Sometimes, sometimes. So um, don't forget that S on the end. So for sometimes, usually we'll say it in the plural in sentences like this. Sometimes we go for a walk in the park on Sundays. Sometimes. Um, when we have it singular, we will say something like, would you like to come over sometime? Would you like to come over sometime? So that's definitely a, a single occurrence. You're inviting them over for a single occurrence, so there's no plural S on the end. Would you like to come over sometime? Do you want to meet up for coffee sometime? Versus sometimes, plural. Um, sometimes we go to California for a vacation. Sometimes. We do it more than once. Um, sometimes this happens. It happens more than once. Sometimes. The word persistence. Persistence. She showed great persistence in finishing her college degree. Persistence. Accent is on the second syllable, but make sure that first syllable, per, is an ER. Per. Per. Not persistence or something else, but persistence. Calling. Calling with a short O calling, calling, um, just like also or always. 
before, before, again with the vocalic OR, before, more, door. When you're talking about um, receiving something through the mail system, you're going to say, I got it in the mail. You would say, I got it in the mail. I got it in the mail. Um, you wouldn't say, I got it in mail. I don't know why. That's just the way we do it. I got it in the mail yesterday. When did you get it in the mail? When did you get it? Um, I put it in the mail. I dropped it in the mail yesterday. Let's see. Looking. Don't forget your ings. Looking. Drinking. Eating. Walking. Ing. Ing. And own. Own. That is my own creation. It's mine. I did it. That is my own. Long O. 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 Own. Not own or own. 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 Okay. And H's. Some accents have a very strong H. So it's um, something like her or did you talk to her? How are you? How are you? Whereas in the Western United States, we will have a much softer H. So how are you? Um, did you talk to her? So again, your, your tongue is not going to tense up as much for that H. It's just going to be very soft. How are you? How, how is he? Are you happy? Um, versus more air and more tense for a, a different accent. How are you? How is he? Uh, I'm not even sure I'm doing it exactly the way it would be done in a different accent. But keep in mind that if you have very strong H's, how, just tone them down a little bit. Less air, less tension. How are you? Um, you can, you, you almost don't hear the H too much in American English. It's there. Um, we'll notice if you don't do it. For instance, if you say, for instance, if you say, um, is E happy today? We'll, we'll definitely know that something's missing. Is E happy today? Versus, is he happy today? Is he happy today? But not, is he happy today? Okay. So I hope that helps and good luck.